Is it almost like your knife and your veggies are made out of plastic? Well, don't fret or get upset, because your pal, Edible Ed, has the answer to this problem. Stay tuned to find out more. On today's all new episode of Edible Eds, I'm gonna be making steak and chicken fajitas. Fajitas. And they are delicious. The most important tool in a chef and a home cook's kitchen is a trusty sharp knife. It saves you time, it saves you energy, and it saves your fingers from getting cut off because you actually glide through what you're cutting instead of sawing through it and then potentially cutting your fingers off. That's no fun, that's no fun. So I'm here to tell you about a brand new service called Knife Aid. It's like Netflix, but for your knives. So when you sign up for the service, you tell them how many knives you need sharpened. They send you this awesome envelope you throw your knives in here, throw it in the mail, and in a couple days, they send you back your razor sharp knives. Now, I personally use this service and it is amazing. I can literally shave with my knife. Now, don't do that, that's very dangerous, but the point I'm trying to make is that it is very, they're very sharp, they're sharp, very sharp. And for the next two weeks, my friends at Knife Aid are gonna give you a discount to use their service. Head over to Knife Aid now. I'm gonna leave a link down below. Type in Edible Ed into the promo code box and you get a discount to use the service. You have two weeks to use this promo code. Edible Ed, that's me. Look, bomb, a promo code. Isn't that awesome? So definitely head over to Knife Aid after you watch this video, of course. Head over to Knife Aid, tell them Edible Ed sent you, get your knife sharpened so you can be a better chef and home cook. Now how about we make some chicken and steak fajitas? Like I mentioned before, this recipe is super easy, super classic, but with a sharp knife, it makes cutting all of these veggies and proteins that much simpler. So I'm cutting up my bell peppers here. You could use any combination of colors or anything like that and my onions. Um, and I'm cutting the silver skin off of this flank steak. Um, you don't have to do this, but I don't like that chewy texture. And next, I'm going ahead and cutting my chicken tenders into chicken slivers. Next step is we're working on the marinade. The marinade is going to be the same for both the steak and the chicken. It starts with some lime juice, salt, some pepper, some poultry seasoning, some garlic and herb seasoning, some smoked paprika for that smokiness, some onion powder, and if you'd like to put in some cayenne pepper just to umph that flavor a little bit. Um, I omitted it, of course, because of Emma Bites. And I have my griddle really raging hot. Just drop that steak on there. Let it go for about four to five minutes per side, depending on how well you like it cooked. Once this gets a head start, I'm gonna throw on my chicken to cook on the other side of the griddle. The chicken is definitely gonna take at least five minutes per side. You wanna make sure the chicken is cooked all the way through. The steak, you could undercook it depending on, like I mentioned, how you like it. So I pulled the steak off a little earlier than the chicken. And when these are done, these guys, just everyone in the pool. Now it's time to, to cook up our veggies. 
So we got our onions, peppers down, throw some salt, some black pepper, and my secret weapon, some poultry seasoning. And again, you could throw more paprika, smoked paprika on here, or some uh, chipotle, or some cayenne, just to kind of smoke it up. You could even throw in some uh, jalapenos here. And if you, if you want all veggie fajitas, make all veggie fajitas. If you want all meat fajitas, well, then I don't think they're really called fajitas at that point. Um, I think fajitas, you kind of need the veggie aspect of it, but I'm not sure, 100%. Everything's done, time to plate. Drop our veggies down, throw our steak down, throw down some uh, chicken there. Get back on the pile there, guy. I spoon on um, some some avocado, some guacamole here, and a little bit of sour cream on the side, and finish it off with a freshly toasted tortilla. Hey, you're on. Who's ready for some man bites? 2019 style. I made myself a little taco with the avocado, the fresh sour cream, those delicious veggies, some steak and some chicken. Let's see how it tastes. Whoa, that sure is delicious. Man, everything just works together. It's like a team of delicious friends holding hands. You definitely have to try this recipe out at home. It's amazing. And please definitely check below in the comment section. Hit up Knife Aid, use a promo code, edible ed. I want to thank Knife Aid for sponsoring this video. I want to thank you for watching this video. I love all of you. Very much. See you next week. Bye. Okay, tell me about your restaurant again. Today. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Who's ready for some Emma bites? Okay, here comes some delicious fajita. Ready? Big bite. This is Daddy. Bye bye. Here's the Daddy. Two thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.